Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures okay talking about the NSE futures you can trade contracts like nifty bank nifty SGX nifty etc with just 6000 rupees for one lot whereas in MCX you can trade one lot of crude oil copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital, that is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me right so that's the help i want to extend or offer and if you are interested then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward all right so as we get into the game of trading we slowly start realizing that there are not many indicators and oscillators that really work in the live market right but still there are a few of them that really work well now what's important is to find which one actually works well in the real time okay once you find it it's time for you to place it on the charts and start backtesting them by changing the various values that the indicator or the oscillator has and then to cross verify which one actually reacts more closely to the price movements okay the one that reacts closely to the price action is the one that actually can fetch you with a lot of money when you trade in the live market using that particular indicator or oscillator okay so having that said today in this video we are going to discuss about a similar oscillator and the strategy that can be used in the live trades okay now please do remember that you need to go back and backtest the strategy once you finish seeing this video because in this video i might explain the strategy in a 15 minutes time frame or a 30 minutes time frame but if you are somebody who is comfortable with a five minutes time frame or if you see that this particular strategy works more efficiently in the five minutes time frame then you might have to change a few things in the strategy like the value and the other stuffs okay so rather so what i want to say here is rather than completely depending on this video i would recommend you all to put in some time and effort to actually get the feel of the strategy by experimenting it with different angles okay so now getting on to the strategy first thing first we need to know what exactly is an awesome oscillator okay so awesome oscillator is the oscillator about which we are going to discuss in this particular video okay so the first thing that we know that we would like to know is what exactly is an awesome oscillator right so in layman's term awesome oscillator is just another oscillator out of the many that we have basically used for technical analysis okay but the special thing about this oscillator is that it does not have a range okay like the way we have ranges from maybe plus 100 to minus 100 in oscillators like uh, stochastics or in oscillators like rsi 
okay but in this case we really don't have a range so basically it is a rangeless or we can say it is a boundless oscillator okay and the calculation is done by using two simple moving averages two smas but i will not explain this in this video because it is not it does not fall into the scope of this video okay because we don't need to know how the oscillator is created we need to know how to use it okay so if at all you are interested in knowing how the oscillator is being created then you can surely get back to google or get back to youtube and i'm sure you will get hundreds and thousands of videos explaining this particular stuff uh, explaining this particular stuff okay so moving on now getting on to the second aspect of it okay we can actually use the awesome oscillator in different ways but in this video we will restrict the discussion to a single way of using it okay so we will be discussing only about a single strategy which obviously is the strongest okay maybe i will make another video or videos explaining the other ways of using this awesome oscillator but as of now for today we will stick back to just one strategy which is the strongest among many other strategies okay so let me take you to the charts and explain the stuff over there okay just a moment all right so this is the chart as you can see here we have two windows open here or i call it as cube okay so the left hand side uh, left hand side cube is a 15 minutes time frame chart and the right hand side cube is a 5 minutes time frame chart okay now i will explain you one example uh, on a buy side and i will explain you another example on the sell side okay on the left hand side the one that you have it just has the awesome oscillator the this thing that you see here is the awesome oscillator so how do we go ahead and plot it on the charts now the platform that i'm using here is trading view so you need to go to indicators go to technicals and click on awesome oscillator here you see it here right so click on awesome oscillator and that will plot the oscillator on the chart and then you can go to the settings one change that you need to do here is uh, under inputs you don't have to do any changes because we really don't have any numbers uh, mentioned here under style one change that you need to do here is change this thing from uh, columns to histogram so by default it will be in columns okay if you click in column it looks like this okay so by default the setting will be like this please change it to histogram now there is a reason for it i will just explain uh, when i'm explaining the strategy okay just make sure that you change it from column to histogram okay and then you click on okay and this is what you get it okay now if i talk about the right hand side cube i have included one um, indicator just for an example it is the super trend so i will show you how to use super trend along with the awesome oscillator okay so uh, the thing that I hope here is once the video is over, you should be in a good position to make a trade by yourself. Okay, so getting on to the strategy. First thing first, the first thing that the prerequisite that is needed is to have for a buy trade. Okay, now this on the left hand side, the scenario which I'm going to discuss is for buying. And on the right hand side, the scenario will be for selling. Okay, so if you are looking out to initiate a buy trade in a particular stock okay the first thing that you need to make sure is these bars okay or whatever you call them okay these uh, bars or histograms should be above the zero line so you see here this is the zero line okay so this entire thing is a zero line this entire thing is the zero line so you need to make sure that the histograms should be above the zero line if the histograms are below the zero line you will not initiate a buy trade as simple as that okay so that is clear that is prerequisite number one now coming to the second one listen to this very carefully okay if you are looking to buy in a particular stock if you want to trade in the buy direction you have to wait for two red bars to be created okay so two red bars followed by a green bar now what exactly do i mean by that let me show it to you okay this is one red bar this is the second red bar and this is the 
green bar. Clear? Now, as I said, if you are thinking to take a buy position, it is mandatory for you to get this set up. And the setup is, first thing is the bars should be above the zero line. Second thing is you need to find a combination of three bars wherein the first bar and the second bar are red and the third bar is green. Third condition is once you find the combination of these bars, you need to make sure that the first bar, that is this one, okay, is longer than the second bar, that is this one. In other words, the second bar should be shorter than the first bar. I hope you're clear, okay? Now, why is that needed? Why am I saying that the second bar, that is this one, has to be shorter than the first red bar? The reason is we are allowing the script to retrace a bit, okay? So if we are uh, taking a buy trade, okay? So the movement will be like this, right? Obviously, the movement will be like this, right? So we need to always allow the stock to retrace. So this is a retracement. This is also a retracement. And this is the exact thing that we want here to be happening. So when the stock is retracing, that is, it is coming down, obviously, the first red bar will be longer than the second red bar. Okay, so you have to make sure that this is happening. If this is not, if this condition is not being satisfied, then you are not taking a trade. Okay, I hope that is clear. Next is the third bar that is green. The third bar has to be green. And after the bar closes or after the candlestick closes, you take a buy trade. As simple as that. Okay, now let's get back to the cursor. And the day started here, that is 7th of September, that is today. Okay, now do you see any such setup wherein we have uh, two red bars and the third bar is a green bar and the second red bar is shorter than the first red bar? Do you see any setup starting from 9.15? No, right? The first setup that you got is here, this area. Just a moment. Uh, let me bring in the pencil. This is the time when the setup happened. So you need to wait for this setup to be happening on the charts and then you initiate the trade. Okay, so starting right from 9.15 till 12.30 or maybe 12.45, you don't have a trade. Okay, you initiate the trade after the closure of the 12.30 candle. Okay, so two red bars. Let me bring in the pencil again. Uh, let me bring in the arrow. So first red bar, second red bar, second red bar is shorter than the first red bar and then we get a green bar and after it closes, after this candle closes, the 12.30 candle closes, you take a long position once the high of this candle is breached. So high of this candle is here, right? So you initiate a buy trade at this point. Stop loss can be kept at just below the swing low. So this is the swing low, right? The recent swing low. You keep the stop loss just below the recent swing low and your target depends uh, on what process you follow. Like if you ask me, my native process is uh, I book my profits at around 1% of the script price. So here, since we are trading uh, with a 264 rupees script, I will book out my profits at around 2 rupees or 2 rupees 50 paise. Okay, so that is how you trade a buy side. I hope that is clear. Okay, now getting on to the sell side. The exact opposite thing has to be taken care of in the sell side. First prerequisite is the stock, sorry, the Awesome oscillator has to be below the zero line. So this is the zero line. 
the bars have to be below the zero line that is prerequisite number one Pre uh, prerequisite number two is you have to find a setup wherein we have two green bars and one red bar okay and the second green bar should be shorter than the first green bar and when the third red bar is created okay you take a short position so where do we find the setup seventh the day started here do you see any uh, setup wherein we have two green bars and one red bar and the second green bar is shorter than the first green bar we get it here right this one let me bring in the arrow just a moment so first green bar second green bar which is shorter than the first green bar and the third red bar once this closes that is once the 10 10 a.m candle closes you initiate a short trade at this bar this one okay your entry will be here once the low of the candle is breached your entry will be here you can place the stop loss either just above the swing high that will be here or above the super trend that is here depends on you okay just make sure that your stop loss should not exceed one percent or 1.5 percent of the script price so if you are trading a 450 rupees script just make sure that your stop loss should not exceed uh, 4.5 uh, rupees or maybe five rupees it should not exceed okay so here let's say the entry is at 452 and we are placing a stop loss at around 457 so it is a five rupees stop loss that we are placing which is absolutely perfect okay and then you book your profits as i said uh, if you ask me i will book my profits at one percent of the script price so since i'm trading a four rupees 50 sorry 450 rupees script i will book out my profits at around four rupees or four rupees 20 paise or four rupees 30 paise okay so that is how you make use of this strategy okay so i hope you're clear okay now let's uh, move forward and let's see if we got any other setup like this okay so the first setup we got was here okay this one right now let's see if we have uh, 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 any second setup like that two green bars ha huh, we have it here see these three these three guys okay these three guys what they are doing is first green candle right second green candle the second green candle is clearly shorter than the first green candle let me expand it so that you people can be clearer right let me delete this and let me bring it in so it is very clear that the second green bar is shorter than the first green bar you can see it here right so first green bar second green bar which is shorter than the first green bar and then we get a red bar so we need to wait for the red bars closure and once it closes we initiate a short trade now let me bring in the cursor so 11 15 okay is the candle for which we need to wait to close after the 11 15 candle closes we initiate a short position once the low is breached somewhere here now in this case do you really think that you should initiate a short trade here i mean see the movement guys okay being a day trader is not that simple because many a times we would need to apply some common sense okay now come on here you already take a, a took a trade here right you already took a trade here in which you were profitable and then after you booked out your profit then also this guy was falling and you clearly see that since the starting of the day this guy has been falling so how can you expect to or i would say how can you dare to initiate a sell trade here i mean it is pure common sense right you should not be trading here even though the technicals are being met 
you should not be trading here that is as simple as it is okay but in in worst case scenario even if you initiated a short trade here your stop loss gets hit somewhere here because if you are taking a short position here you place your stop losses just above the super trend that is somewhere here so your stop loss gets hit that's fine okay but that is the worst case scenario if you apply a little common sense you will never initiate a sell trade here okay that was second scenario next do we have any other scenario coming up like that uh, with two yeah we have another one here see see it here right so first green candle second green candle which is shorter than the first green candle third red candle and we initiate our trade after this candle closes so when do we initiate the trade we initiate the trade after the 12:45 candle closes okay let me delete this let me go towards the right hand side of the chart or maybe i will expand this okay so we took our trade here uh, this one right let me just confirm yeah so we are taking a sell trade here okay our stop loss will be just above the super trend and then we wait okay so it went up a bit it beautifully uh, faced a resistance here okay and then it again fell and the low made was here so approximately i would say the entry was at uh, 446 uh, the target was at 443.55 not a big target and the stop loss was also in the range so this is also a decent trade okay now for a 400 rupees script if you are able to uh, gain around 2 rupees or 2 rupees 50 paise then it is obviously a good trade for an intraday trader okay so this is the strategy guys i hope you are clear on the prerequisites of the strategy and your main focus should be on these awesome oscillator bars okay your main main focus should be on this awesome oscillator bars okay you don't have to care about the candlesticks okay because you will be using the candlesticks only to make the entries and to uh, set the stop loss and to um, set your target but your decision making lies absolutely on these red and green bars okay so this is what i wanted to discuss with you guys okay this is a super simple strategy but requires a lot of patience because not everybody will be able to wait from 9 15 till 12 30 or 12 15 right three three and a half hours uh, most of the people lose their patience and they force themselves to take up a trade and then they end up in losses okay so not many will be able to hold that patience to get the right setup but if you are somebody who has the patience to wait for the right setup then obviously the market will reward you accordingly as simple as that okay so that's it from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you might get some more information about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like this video Video if you liked it okay so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye, -bye.